Hi everybody, welcome to Redmond, Oregon. Ryan Dorn here for FMCA.com. Here with, uh, with uh, Mark Guild from Tiger Motorhomes. And as we were kind of walking by with the camera crew, we noticed this coach and we're just thinking, this is going to be the talk of the show, you know, I'm for sure. So if you could just tell us a little bit about uh, uh, what we've got here so we can tell everybody home about it. Well, the Tiger Motorhome is built on a one ton pickup chassis, okay. Ford, Chevrolet, or Dodge. We can do a gas or diesel version. Extended cab, standard cab, or crew cab. So you have lots of choices in chassis. Oh, that's great. But the big thing is that it's a one-ton truck, four-wheel drive. So the Tiger then is built on a four-wheel drive platform without putting any compartments low to the ground. That's great. And allows customers to be able to have on-road adventures and even off-road adventures. Oh, that's dynamite. So one of the things you can see, I mean, people just, I mean, they're really drawn to it. What is the big single thing that everybody just says they really love about it? Well, there's really, I point to a couple things. One okay. is a four-wheel drive capability to be sure. able to go anywhere they want to go. Be able to go boondocking in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you bet. And then another thing is to be able to walk from the front to the back. Yeah. Not, so. And that's in, we're here at the FMCA convention, and that's one of the things that you know qualifies this. Well, it's a Class C right, uh, right. coach as well, but FMCA members, you know, this this qualifies to get them right into the membership of the FMCA, right. so they can walk from the front to the back. And we're going to go inside in a second. But so if you're a Chevy fan, that's fine. Yep. If you're a Ford fan, that's fine. That's right. Uh, if you're a Dodge fan, that's that's fine. Mm -hmm. So you're not prejudiced against any brand. You no. Take one, take all. If you're not sure, I'll help you through that decision. <laughs> yeah. That's great. That's yeah. great. Well, if you don't mind, let's walk around a little bit and take a look at some of the features on the outside, and then we'll go uh, inside and check okay. it out. Okay, very good. Mark, let's talk about some of the external features, if you will. I know the one big thing is this is completely self-contained, but I say that you've got, is there a generator you know, yeah. on the vehicle as well? System has a generator, deep cycle batteries, okay. propane, yeah. and then, of course, uh, an optional solar panel. So that if you go boondocking in the middle of nowhere, you have the power yeah. that you need for you know, a period of time. That's great. I think it's a perfect size for people that are really into a lot of outdoor activities. Right. And one of the things, I know you mentioned it, I just want to mention it again to everybody, is because it's built on a chassis like this, it's 4x4. It's, it's four four. So if you really enjoy the outdoors, whether it's hiking, um, you know, whether it's maybe even pulling a horse trailer behind or That's things right. like that, this would work. And we really need, I guess, the awning out today with all the yeah. sun <laughs> in, yeah. in Redmond. So um, how many people does it, does it sleep? Uh, sleeps, it can sleep up to four people. Okay. The, the, a bed over, overhead bed, and then of course the couch it folds out. Sure. Now, yeah. what about people that might, um, you know, want to get it in a dually version? If there was, if they had chose a dually truck, would that work as well? We do duallys, yes. Um, about ten to fifteen percent of our trucks are duallys, oh, okay. especially for folks that want to be able to pull yeah. uh, bigger loads. You know, on a one-ton truck, you have the ability to pull a tremendous amount of load, you know, horse trailers and boats and things like that. Oh, that's, that's dynamite. Terrific. That's dynamite. If you don't mind, let's go inside and let's take a look around. All right, sure All can. Right, go right ahead. I'll follow you in. Wow, look at all the room in here. I don't, I'm not a real super tall guy, but you're obviously taller than I am, and there's plenty of headroom uh, in here. How, how tall are you, and how, how tall is the ceiling? I'm about six foot, and we're in a unit that's six foot one. Okay. We make another unit that's actually six foot four. Perfect. For, for real tall folks. Uh, one thing that's interesting about our layout is that this is kind of a living room feel. Yeah. Uh, so many of the Class C's have a hallway type effect with a bed in the back. Right. We have the overhead bed. And this is, is very unique. Very permanent, yeah. so you don't have to worry about taking a bed out every night if you if you don't want to. Yeah, that's yeah, great. It's a neat feature. I also noticed that you've got windows all around, plenty of natural light, right. vented fans, and then you've got um, a TV. It looks like, a, yeah, a TV on a swivel arm. It's, it's, on a sw it's on a swivel arm. You have a DVD player. You can get optional satellite system. That's excellent. So watch whatever you want in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, one of the things I noticed is that um, the cabinetry is really nice. Unfortunately, sometimes you see in you know some of the Class C's, the cabinetry is not quite as nice as this. This is very nice. We're using solid maple cabinets. Okay. Yeah. So, solid maple yeah. cabinets. That's great. So lots of storage, and then you've got a really nice, you know, cook to cook top and a cook surface and, and kitchen area, galley area as well. Yeah. Typical galley would have your microwave, stove, fridge. Obviously, this has an optional oven in this one. Uh, again, back to the cabinets again. You have to be very strong because you're going off roading. You want to make sure things oh, are going to hold together and, and stay nice and strong for you. Yeah, that's a that's a great point. The bed is a dis really distinguishing factor. This is really really nice. It makes a ton of it makes a ton of sense. Looks like, looks like plenty of room. Yeah, uh, and we use an inter well. inner spring mattress on it. Yeah, the couch folds out into a bed, a little bit smaller. Also has a, a spring mat a spring mattress in it. Action to you. Well, Mark, one of the things I noticed is there's plenty of storage uh, inside this vehicle as well. Right, we have lots of cabinet space, and also uh, closet space here That's great. for hangups. And then inside the closet, we have a large table that we can use to replace a small one for eating. Hmm, that's very handy. Yeah. You have his and her drawers below. And then as we move into the bath area, this is our traditional wet bath. Now, in a smaller unit like this, it's, it's nice and convenient to have an enclosed bath space. Sure. Uh, this one is completely uh, highlighted and outlined in fiberglass. 
You just have to remember to take out the toilet paper when you take a shower. Yeah, that makes perfect <laughs> sense. That's great. So after a long day of hiking or, you know, working with the horses or being outdoors, that's perfect. Right. That's, uh, that's excellent. So then uh, talk a little bit about the cooling systems. You know, obviously it looks like you've got a full, you know, a full system here as well. And you mentioned the generator as well. Right. Uh, you have power from the generator, power from plugging in, shore power. Um, those, either of those will run the AC unit. The AC unit has a heat strip in it. Oh, excellent. And then you have a furnace system, which will be off of your propane, of course. So, Mark, one of the things I noticed, this is an extended cab Ford uh, truck. And so if someone wanted to have, you know, the uh, crew cab, they could do that. That would add about how much, how much space there, how many feet? Well, on the extended cab, you have two additional feet behind the seats versus a standard cab. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In a crew cab, you have an additional foot and a half. So that would be three and a half feet behind the, behind the seats. So when this comes, to, when this comes into your shop, um, you know, then what is, it comes in as a regular truck, and then you guys do everything. Right, we cut out part of the roof. Mm -hmm. Once we mount the coach, then we cut out the back of the truck. The rear seats are removed. The center console is removed. We install armrests, so you can still rest your arms. But what that does then is creates an area for a pass-through from the driver's seats, the passenger seats, to the rear of the coach. So the price point on this is, you know, going to be in what sort of ball, ballpark? Our range really is from about 85000 to 100000 Depending on gas, diesel sure. options you get. Oh, it's right. very affordable. So you're you're here with your Class C amongst you know some some big Class A's. Yeah, what have right. people been saying as they as they came by? Well, I mean, most people say, "Wow, this is really neat. We haven't seen it before." Yeah. You know, we sell factory direct, build to order. So the biggest issue for us is getting seen. Okay. And that's why we've selected to start coming to some of the FMCA shows and that type of thing to get more visibility. Yeah, that's so great. So people like the fact that it's compact. You can park it wherever you want to park oh, yeah. it. Go where you want to go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a neat rig. Oh, that's dynamite. So there's got to be some a lot of happy customers. Is there oh, user groups, blogs, people talking about it online? Yeah, besides our website, there's a there's a motorhome owners group, a Tiger Motorhome Owners Group on Yahoo. There's some blogging done on some other expedition sites. That's people great. That, people really get out there. Yeah. We also have some folks that have taken the rigs to the northern part of the Arctic Circle, as far as you can drive north. Wow. And then all the way down to the southern part of South America. And two in particular have, have blogged that. And those are, we can pass that information on to potential customers so they can see exactly how the thing works in real life. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, folks, as you know, we've been to a lot of the FMCA conventions with the, with the video crew. And we're always excited when we see new and exciting things. And as the, as the owner and, and uh, the innovator, this is, uh, it's a real pleasure to, to meet you, Mark. So as people want more information, you know, uh, about this uh, Tiger Motorhome, where do they go online? Probably the best place to find us is at www.tigermotorhomes.com. All the latest and greatest pricing and features and our contact information is there. Oh, that's great. All right. Well, best of luck at Thanks, uh, the show here in Oregon. And, we'll, folks, we'll just keep hoping that, uh, unlike New Mexico, when it snowed, we just keep hoping that the, the sun is out <laughs> here. So that makes it great for, for right. all of us. So well, good luck at the show. Good. Thanks again.